Hello and welcome to another video guys. Now in today's episode, we're gonna be breaking down the best time of year to visit every surf destination in the world. So without further ado, let's jump in. So starting off in Ireland, Ireland gets its best waves during the winter. Now during winter, it's also freezing, freezing cold in Ireland. So you're gonna need a six mil, um, you're going to have to be comfortable pulling on wet wetsuits in windy car parks. It's not for the faint of heart. Ireland also gets battered by wind and rain and huge storms. But between those storms, you can get some amazing waves where the wind swings offshore for a, a day or so. You can get some of the best waves on the planet. If snow and wind and massive waves doesn't sound like you, you can head there in autumn and spring, which are the nice shoulder seasons where the weather's slightly better and you still get some long period swells. Then down to France. Now in September and October, there's nowhere better in the world to be than Southwest France, specifically in Hossegore. These two months of the year are when the first long period swells of the winter start to fill into the Bay of Biscay. It's also really nice and warm at this time of year still in France. So with that combination, you've just got perfect surfing conditions and there really is nowhere better. They get amazing waves during the winter as well, but generally September and October is the go. Same goes for the northern stretch of Spain, like the waves in and around San Sebastian, Mundaka, all along that northern coast get really fun in September, October. For Mundaka to work, you generally want those big winter swells, so if you're looking just to score that wave, then you want to be there from sort of November until March, and that's going to give you the best chance of scoring it. Then down to Portugal. Now, Portugal is a super consistent surf destination. It basically has waves all year round. It faces straight out west into the Atlantic. So any swell that is happening just comes straight into the coast. Again, like France and Spain, September, October, November are amazing times to be in Portugal as well, even because it's that little bit further south, it gets a lot warmer than it does in say France. So especially in the south of Portugal, you head to the Algarve and it's still like, can be 20 degrees in the day in the middle of winter. So while October, November is probably the best time of year, you can still get amazing waves and really nice conditions in January, February as well. Continuing further south down into Africa. So Morocco is, I guess, the winter escape for all European surfers. Now Morocco, has incredible waves, as we all know. You wanna to head to Morocco during the winter. So from October to April, this sort of window is your best chance at scoring those famous right-hand points. The deeper into the winter you go, the more likely this is to happen. December, January, February, this is when waves like Anchor Point, Boilers, Safi, all those other lesser known like barreling rights all, all light up. And plus it stays warm in Morocco basically all year. Then over into the Atlantic, so like the islands like Madeira, the Azores, Canary Islands, generally you want winter for these kind of places. It's when they get the biggest swells. A lot of the surfing here is like powerful reef breaks. So you need quite a bit of swell for that those waves to work. September and October is probably the best month for all of these sort of places. It's generally the least windy months for these islands like elsewhere in Europe, starts to get those big long period swells at the start of the season. It's met with nice weather, good winds. So September, October, November is a perfect time to visit any of these islands. Then jumping across the Atlantic to the Caribbean. Now I'm no expert on the Caribbean because I've never actually been there. So if you guys have got more information on when's the best time of year to go, please let me know down in the comments. I like to say I've got pretty good surf knowledge of most places, but Caribbean is somewhere I'm definitely lacking. But the Northern Hemisphere winter is generally when they get waves. Although on some of the outer lying islands, you can still get waves outside of this time. August, September, October, this is the hurricane season as well for sort of the east coast of America. So this is when these Caribbean islands can get really good waves, you know, if they're in good proximity to the hurricane. Otherwise, sort of November to March, when the biggest swells happen, is your best bet for scoring waves in the Caribbean. Now over to the east coast of America. Again, I've never been to this part of the world, but I know a lot of you guys watching are from there. So again, any, any information would be much appreciated. But I think the best time of year for the east coast is sort of that September to November sort of time as well, where it's not too cold and you start to get some swells roll in. I know the best waves happen like during midwinter. I know there's been December to March, I guess is the best time to score. But again, please let me know down in the comments. Over to the west coast of America and into California. So California, world renowned surfing destination. Again, I know a lot of you guys watching are from there. California is pretty lucky because it has two distinct surfing seasons and it has spots that can pick up both north and south swells. 
Generally in Southern California, you want the Northern Hemisphere summer, so between April and October. This is when the south swells from the South Pacific hit the California coast and they light up breaks like the Wedge, Trestles, Malibu, all those kind of famous places. In the opposite season, so in the Northern Hemisphere winter from November until March, this is when spots like Rincon, Sandspit, the points in Ventura, Mavericks, if that's your thing, they, they all start to work during this time. California, you can basically head there at any time of year and probably get waves. Then over to where things all started, to Hawaii. So Hawaii, one of the most notorious destinations in the world. So we all know that winter is the best time to surf on like, the North Shore. And generally, this is the case for most of the famous waves in Hawaii. Honolulu Bay, Jaws, the entire North Shore where Waimea, Sunset, Pipe is. All of those waves work from sort of November until March. However, what's slightly lesser known is that during the summer and during south swells, the southern shores of these islands, particularly on the south of Oahu in Honolulu, places like Ala Moana Bowls get really good. So it actually has two solid surfing seasons, but generally, if you wanna guarantee yourself waves, you've gotta go in winter. Then over to Mexico. So Mexico, again, like Hawaii, is one of the best surf destinations in the world. It's the country where I've had the best waves in my life. And again, because it's so long, kind of like California, it's got sort of two different seasons. In the northern half of the country, like particularly in the Baja region, you want the northern hemisphere winter, so November till March. This is when those big swells, the same swells that hit Hawaii, California, eventually make it down to northern in Mexico and light up those point breaks and slabs and big wave joints. Mexico is generally famous for the opposite season, so between April and October, when the south swells hit the coast, this is when those southern Mexican waves like Barra de la Cruz, the Salina Cruz points, Puerto Escondido, Pascuales, all of those waves, they all light up at that time. So heading to Mexico anywhere between April and October is a pretty surefire way of getting waves. June, July, August is kind of the meat of the season. So if you go then, almost guaranteed to get waves. Then down to Central America. So rather than going through each individual Central American surf destination, Guatemala, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, El Salvador, all of this area kind of works during the same time. I mean, they get their biggest swells between April and October. This is when points like Punta Roca light up. It's when the beaches get really good around Costa Rica and in Nicaragua. So heading to any of that Pacific facing coast between April and October is gonna be really consistent. Generally, it follows a pattern of like being two to three foot most days, and then there'll be the odd four to six foot day thrown in for good measure. The only anomalies for Central America is the Caribbean coast of Panama and Costa Rica. So Bocas del Toro and Puerto Viejo, they've got some really good waves there, but they work between November to April. And that's when the storms come through the Caribbean Sea and hit those places. Uh, but generally, Central America, April till October. Then going to the total opposite side of the world to Sri Lanka. So Sri Lanka is another top surf destination. Compared to a lot of these places, it's one of the more mellow destinations. Sri Lanka's got two distinct seasons, so if you want to score the right-hand point breaks of Aragon Bay, you need to head there between April and October. If you want to head to the south coast, you need to head there in winter, so between November and March. So finally, in the Northern Hemisphere, we've got the Maldives. Now, the Maldives are only just in the Northern Hemisphere, and I think, actually, some of the southern atolls sit below the equator. Please let me know if you, you're better at geography than me. If you want to head there between April and October, so despite being in the Northern Hemisphere, the Maldives gets all of its swell from the Southern Indian Ocean. So during winter in the Southern Hemisphere, this is when those storms at the bottom of the world pump out that long period swell up to the Maldives. Um, so yeah, that is a rundown of all of the different surf destinations in the Northern Hemisphere and when to go. So knowing this is only going to increase your likelihood, but it definitely doesn't guarantee you good waves. You've still got to navigate like more specific local conditions, the intricacies of each individual spot. Um, so yeah, there's a lot more to it than just flying there and going at this time. I I've been to some of the best surf destinations at the best time of year and it's just been flat. <laughs> So you, ne you never really know. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you did. For now, it's goodbye from me and I'll see you in the next episode.